Hi, I have a question for you. From these given numbers, tell me which one is a prime number. So a question like this comes in a lots and lots of competitive exams and in this video we will learn how to approach these kinds of questions and solve them in seconds. So let's begin. Hello geniuses. First of all, I just want to say sorry for not uploading a month. I was really busy with academics, but now I am back with really fun and interesting math videos. So let's get back to our question. Which one is a prime number? Now the best way to approach these kinds of question is to learn divisibility test. That is, we won't ask which one is a prime number. We will ask which one is not the prime number and we will eliminate the options and the option remaining is the right answer. Okay, so now why do we need them? See, we can't test all the numbers by dividing different kinds of number and seeing if they are divisible or not. It will take a lot of time and our goal is to do them as quickly as possible. Okay, so that's why we learn those divisibility tests. So by seeing a number, we can quickly say yes, it is divisible by three without actually dividing it by three or other numbers. Okay, so in this video, we will learn divisibility tests from two to 13. Okay, and those are enough to solve these kinds of questions. Now, first thing I'm assuming that you know what is a prime number. If you don't know, it is the number that is divisible by itself and one only. No other number divides it. And also one thing, one is not a prime number. It doesn't fulfill that condition. So now let's learn all the divisibility tests. Some are extremely easy, some are a little bit tricky. So just try to remember those tricky ones, okay? Because whenever they set these kinds of question, they set for those tricky ones, okay? So see. First, let's test divisibility by 2. It's extremely simple. The number should be even so that it is divisible by 2. Even numbers are those numbers which have 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 at their last digits. As simple as that. So the next divisibility test is really interesting. Divisibility test by 3. See, if the sum of the digits of that number is divisible by 3, then that number is also divisible by 3. For example, 534. 5 plus 3 plus 4, it is 12. 12 is divisible by 3, so 534 is also divisible by 3. Similar test is for 9. See, if the sum of the digits of that number is divisible by 9, that that number is also divisible by 9. For example, 459. 4 plus 5 plus 9, 18. 18 is divisible by 9. So that number is also divisible by 9. So the example which I took, are they prime number? No they passed the divisibility test of these two numbers so they are not prime numbers that is how we need to approach those kinds of questions now the test for four it is really simple if the last two digits of that number are divisible by four or both are zero then that number is also divisible by four for example four two two four 24 is divisible by 4, so 4 2 2 4 is also divisible by 4. Similar test is for 8 2. If the last 3, remember 3 digits are divisible by 8, then that whole number is also divisible by 8. Here the 0 0 thing is not there. So remember, if the last 3 digits are divisible by 8, then that number is also divisible by 8. So for example, is 6 7 1 9 2 divisible by 8? Take the last three digits, 192, divide it by 8. Yes, it is divisible. So 67192 is also divisible by 8. So it is not a prime number. Okay, so the next one, extremely simple, divisibility test by 5. If the last number is either 5 or 0, then it is divisible, otherwise not. And I don't think you need an example for this one. So now divisibility test for 6, extremely simple. Check for both 3 and 2. If it is divisible, then it is divisible by 6, 2. Now remember for the questions we are trying to approach, we don't need to test for six, okay? If we just test for three or two and it passes, then that number is not prime number. So divisibility tests have a lot of other applications too. We are just using these to approach our problems. So now divisibility test by seven. This one is a little bit tricky, so listen to it really, really carefully, okay? See, double the last number and subtract it from the remaining numbers. If the answer is divisible by 7, then that number is also divisible by 7. So let's take an example, 357, 7 double 14, 
35 which is the remaining number 35 minus 14 is what it is 21 21 is divisible by 7 so 357 is also divisible by 7 now divisibility test for 10 extremely simple last digit should be 0 then it is divisible by 10 now for 11 it is really interesting see take that number no matter how long take the even digit numbers and add them take the odd digit numbers and also add them and subtract these two if that answer is divisible by 11 or it is 0 then that number is also divisible by 11 let's take extremely simple example 572 start your counting from 0 so 2 is at 0 7 is at 1 5 is at 2 so 5 plus 2 7 minus 7 is 0 so 572 is also divisible by 11 now divisibility test for 12 it is extremely simple check for 2 3 and 4 now the last one divisibility test for 13 which is a little bit tricky so listen to it extremely carefully because in these types of questions they give a number which is only divisible by 13 so people do get confused so listen to it really carefully see multiply 4 to the last digit okay and add it to the remaining truncated digits okay if that number is divisible by 13 then that whole number is also divisible by 13 so let's take an example 50661 okay so 1 multiply by 4 4 5066 plus 4 which is 5070 now this one is also difficult okay so we will repeat this process on this one so 5070 so 0 multiply by 4 0 and add this to this so we have 507 so now let's repeat on this one too so 507 so 7 multiply by 4 7 4 are 28 so 28 plus 50 which is what 78 is 78 divisible by 13 yes so our question number is also divisible by 13 so you have learned all the divisibility test now i have to ask you a question see this number this number is divisible by your options are these so you can just pause this video and test for divisibility so if you have seen this video carefully then you must have gotten the right answer which is d see first we have to see the options we have 3 9 and 11 in those options okay so now let's check for 3 first okay so this number contains 3 only right so its sum will also be divisible by 3 right so this number is divisible by 3 similarly let's check for 9 see it is 3 3 3 so it's 9 and it is 4 times so 9 4 is 36 so yes it is divisible by 9 2 so now 11 see here are only 3s so if we take the odd digit numbers and even digit numbers and subtract them we will get 0 so yes it is divisible by 11 2 so now let's come back to the question which we have asked in the starting of this video now let's check for 183 first so now first check for 2 no for 3 okay so 1 plus 8 9 9 plus 3 12 yes it is not a prime number so now let's come to the second option that is 121 see by seeing this number we can say 1 plus 1 is 2 so if we subtract them we will get 0 so yes it is divisible by 11 we don't need to check for other numbers it is not a prime number so eliminate this one too so now let's check for 157 so 5 plus 1 6 6 plus 7 13 not divisible by 3 also not divisible by 9 also not divisible by 2 not with 5 so now let's check for 7 and 13 should we have to check it let's stop right now because it will take time let's check for the last number if it's easily divisible by some other number then we will tick this one okay so now let's come to the last number 1029 first always for a number check by adding so 9 10 11 12 yes it is divisible by 3 so it is not a prime number the only one remaining is this one see we didn't check for 7 and 13 so it was to save our time because if we checked we would have failed and then we have to check for this one and it will waste our time so we simply eliminated the options and this is what you have to do to approach these kinds of questions so thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything